Hello, Sawadika. My name is Jussie and I want to say thank you to all of you members of the community supporters of For Life Thailand. I'm thrilled to be sharing some yoga with you guys as part of the event and I hope that you take lots of inspiration and joy from the sharings over the next week. I've been on the board of trustees for over five years. I'm really proud of all the achievements that For Life Thailand has achieved. I'm so pleased to be working with them and it is my pleasure to be sharing with you guys today. I have been teaching yoga now for almost five years. So I came from a corporate background, um, which is my first involvement with For Life Thailand and becoming a member of the Board of Trustees. And I had quite a big career change where I left my corporate world and I went on to do this stuff full time and become self-employed. So it's a huge passion of mine, which is why I'm really pleased to be sharing this with you. So what do I do? I teach yoga. I also do stuff with the mind, so life coaching, and also a qualified Thai massage therapist. I love all things Thai. Thailand is very close to my heart. And um, these, these practices, I believe, to be really powerful that help us to come out of our head and back into our hearts. And this, this you know, aligns to all the values of the charity as well, because what we do and what we give is coming from our hearts. So my wish today over the next 20 minutes is to share with you some really simple tools that help you come out of your mind and back into your body and back into your heart. And one of the things that I find for many is that they are often breathing into their chest and there's a lot of anxiety, there's a lot of stress. This world is really stressful at times and we forget to breathe. So very much what I will focus and emphasize on today is breathing. And yoga as a practice is um, so many things. And simply put, I like to describe it as a dance. It's a dance between the breath and movement. And so Hatha, the, the, the original name of um, yoga, Hatha as a, um, a lineage of the different elements of yoga, Hatha, which is movement yoga, is it actually means sun and moon, so it's union. Um, so everything about yoga is union, and union being breath synchronized with movement. And when you're doing that, you can't be anywhere else. If you're in your head, you can't be anywhere else. You have to be in your body. So it, it teaches us the art and the beauty of being fully present. And when we're fully present as a human being, we can show up so much more for other people. We can show up for ourselves, but we can show up for others. And we also get to enjoy the beautiful things that we miss when we're in our head, like the butterflies that are floating through the bumblebees that are busy collecting all their pollen. And you get to enjoy the really simple, beautiful things in life when you are fully present. So... We're going to work with a very small sequence just now and we're also going to practice a very soothing rhythmic breathing um, pattern that helps you to calm your body down. So if you take two things away from here today, let them be this really simple sequence that assists all of your body. So if you're like me, you wake up with a little bit of a sore back or tight hamstrings or you're wanting to train a little bit of the core muscles there as well. This sequence is really simple, it's really beautiful. Um, and with time, repetition, you will remember it. The second element is a very simple breathing tool that helps you to calm the body down. And it works with your brain and it activates a certain part of your brain that helps you to self-soothe. And that's why I love it so much. So I'm gonna run you through the first part, which is breath and movement, which is called a sun salutation A and B. And then we'll go through the breath um, sequence to close. So in Sanskrit, the language which I was taught, um, it's taken from India, but there's lots, there's so many different elements to yoga. And what's beautiful is the whole world recognizes it. Um, and the reason why it, it links back nicely to the Thai therapeutic massage is that you're basically doing what's known as lazy man's yoga um, when you're having a Thai massage because you're being put into certain postures and pressure applied to your body to massage out all the blocks and the irons and the kinks. So asana, when I referred to just now, actually means comfortable 
posture. And every posture is designed to alleviate any blocks and to get all of that energy, water, we're, we're pretty much made of water, running freely through our body again. Because we want to be um, of healthy body and healthy mind and we want our limbs to work and we don't want to be walking around with achy backs and, and tension. So um, there's different asanas that we will, will work with and the, the language that's recognised is Sanskrit. So it's really important when I say asana that you just think comfortable posture and not to get lost in the different terminologies, not to get lost in the different languages. It's basically wherever you are, make it comfortable and think of the target areas that we're going to work with. And so the Sanskrit for sun salutation A and B is Surya Namaskara, which just means sun, hello to the sun, sun salutation. So traditionally, as a practice, this is done first thing in the morning. And why is it done in the morning? Because we wake up and our body feels stiff and we want to be able to feel open. So you're not you know, restricted to have to do it in the morning. You can do it any time of day. But just taking out between you know, 10 to 15 minutes to breathe through this, get you back in your body, get you running you know, freely um, and all that energy running freely in your body so that you can be able to move through your day with ease. And it's as simple as that. So standing to the top of your mat, we're going to go super slow. Don't worry if there's certain things that you find a struggle. So first I want for you to plant your feet into the ground and you don't have to have a mat. It helps to have a mat, but if you don't have one, it doesn't matter. And... You can be on a towel, you can be on a piece of, um, you know, uh, a bed sheet, you can use a piece of cotton, you can be on the floor or the carpet. And just take a moment to relax your shoulders away from your ears. Standing nice and tall, tilting your pelvis up ever so slightly as you draw your belly button back towards your spine. And when you're ready, just start to come into your breath. I want for you to lay foundations, which is grounded in your breath. So take a large breath in, inhaling through your nose. And as you exhale out through the nose again. Two more like this, inhaling through the nose. And exhale out through the nose. Again, inhaling through the nose. And exhale out through the nose. When you're ready, you're going to bring your arms up towards the ceiling, reaching those arms up as you inhale. And if the hands can't come together, keep them apart because you don't want your shoulders to reach compression. As you exhale, bringing the hands down either hands together or hands separate and you begin to hinge from your hips as you fold. So you'll start to pick this up now in your hamstrings and in your lower back and please don't worry if you can't get the hands down. Go where you can, bend your knees as much as you need to. Half fold, you're going to lift halfway and lengthen through the spine as you lift your chest. Hands often press onto the shins here but you're using the inhale as you lift, rolling those shoulders back. Tip the weight forward into the balls of your feet as you exhale. Bend your knees as much as you need to to get your hands comfortably down. And step back into a plank. This is called Chaturanga Dandasana, which basically means stick insect. So you've got two options. You can lower all the way down, so use your core and use your shoulder strength to lower down. Or what you can do here is drop your knees and your chin and your chest lower down. So you're still using the same core muscle roots to come down. From here, press your palms. As you inhale, push up into an upper facing dog. Shoulders roll back and away. And as you exhale, send the tailbone back. So into your tabletop, tuck your toes and lift into your downward facing dog. So your feet are hip width apart. Pushing into the balls of your feet, often the heels won't touch. And your palms are shoulder width apart. So it's quite strong if you've never done this before. You might only last maybe one, two breaths and need to drop the knees down into table. But I want you to really push into the base of your palms, really grip your fingers in, 
as you ease your tailbone up and back. So where should you be feeling this? You're feeling this in your hamstrings, you're feeling this in your shoulders, quite strong in the arms. You're feeling this in your spine. And I want for you to bring your head, your gaze towards your toes or towards your knees. Keep gripping all the fingers in, you're gonna need a really firm grip and breathe at the same time. Often you'll hold breath or you'll panic a little bit. So I want for you to find that comfortable position and we breathe. Traditionally, we hold this between three to five large breaths. Relax the head. Nice time here is for you to just give a few yes nods or no nods, just to loosen out. So the intention is to loosen out the body and to strengthen the body. When you're ready, you're gonna look forward to your hands and you're gonna step one foot forward first. To do this, I would lift the base of the palm up so you're on the fingertips on one hand and then lift the foot draw the knee in towards the chest and step through. And don't worry if the foot only can come here, then just step there or little footsteps come in to the front and arriving back in that half fold as you lift your chest and lengthen your spine. And exhale, we fold again. So draw the heart towards the thigh. It doesn't matter how deeply you can fold, bend your knees as much as you need to. And when you're ready, come up as you inhale reaching up all the way and as you exhale back to standing we're going to do one more and then we're going to show you surya namaskara b so sun salutation b which is very similar to the framework that we've just done but it's got an extra bit in there which makes it a little bit quicker and typically these repetitions are done between three to five times each so you do three of a and three of b or five of A and five of B. So we're gonna run through A again. So you inhale, reach those arms all the way up. And as you exhale, begin to hinge from your hips as you fold. So you inhale, lengthen halfway, really lift your chest, lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, tip the weight forward, press your hands down and step back into your chaturanga. Knees, chin, chest, or lower all the way down. So you want those elbows alongside the body. Use all that strength to lower down. And when you're ready, push into palms. Inhale, lifting the chest. So really getting into the hip flexors, the quads. Open the shoulders, opening the lower back. Push, send the tailbone back into table. Tuck your toes ready. So if someone's got a string attached to your lower back and lifting up towards the ceiling. Relax your head, relax your neck, drawing that navel back towards the spine, taking your gaze towards your toes or your knees, or if you want more, take the gaze towards your belly button. Taking a few large breaths here. Really relax into the breath. And when you're ready, gazing forward, as you inhale, lift the hand to prepare just the base of it as you step through, step through. Lengthen halfway as you land to the front and exhale as you fold. The breath is really key, inhale, exhale. It's really key to help you find the breath and movement and synchronize the two. Inhale, reaching up, arms come up all the way and as you exhale back to standing coming into sun salutation b you start to sink into your hip so it's a bit like a chair it's called chair pose so you sit down in that imaginary chair squeezing the thighs together this is really strong if you want to build glutes and core and quads so you start to sit down in that chair so you want to see your toes above your knees and reaching those arms up so everything here, you're training muscles to help you be strong. You're training muscles to help you support that lower back so that you can live free of discomfort and pain in your body. So you exhale, hinging as you fold, very similar to sun salutation A. And as you inhale, we lengthen halfway, lift the chest. So really feeling this in your hamstrings. 
Do you exhale, weight forward into the balls of the feet, press the palm, step back, and we lower down once again into that chaturanga. Open the feet, push into the palms as you lift into your upper facing dog. The feet movements and everything will come. Don't worry, it's a lot to think about if this is the first time you're doing it. Then you tuck your toes to prepare. Push, lift into your downward facing dog. So this time we add in warrior one on the right and the left side. So you're gonna step your right foot through to the front. Both your hips are traveling towards your right foot. And land your left heel down. So your left hip opens slightly. Step the left foot out as much as you need to to be able to turn to get your hips to travel towards your right foot. So this is quite strong on your left hip flexor, it's quite strong on the right quad. So position the foot forward, sink down into the hip so you're really firing and activating that quad to come down and you're really opening in the left hip flexor. Squeeze your left glute to support your left hip and you reach the arms up. This is all in one breath movement so it's quite a lot so I'm going slowly to explain it to you. So when you're ready to come down, start to hinge from the hips as you frame, but you're gonna position that back foot and lift the heel as you turn so that the knee is safe. Press into the hands, lift the right foot back, and we lower down into a chaturanga again. Open the feet, inhale, push up, open chest away, so really lovely to warm up the spine and the hips. Tuck the feet, push as you exhale back into your downward facing dog. This time on the left side, so one breath movement, inhaling, we step forward, land the heel, stay in position as you lift the chest and we arrive, all in one breath. As you exhale, we frame, turn that back foot, lift the heel, press and lower, all on the exhale. Open feet, inhale, push into your upper dog. Tuck feet, exhale, push back into your downward facing dog, taking a few large breaths here. Gaze towards your knees. You may be feeling a little bit breathless and this really does get your heart rate up. When you practice this daily, it's designed to warm the body up. You get the blood flowing. It will challenge you, but you will feel so free in your spine and your body after you've done it. So when you're ready, gazing forward as you inhale, step through, lift the base of the palm. Through to the front we go, other foot joins, and exhale, hinge as you fold. We come straight into the chair, so you lower your tailbone down, reach your arms up. Can you still see your toes above your knees? And exhale back to standing. So we do one more. Inhale into your chair. Exhale, hinging as you fold, so go a little bit quicker. Inhale, lengthen halfway, lift your chest. As you exhale, place the hand, step back. Chaturanga, we lower down. Open feet, inhale, if you want more, lift your thighs. Tuck feet, push into your downward facing dog. Breathe, then move, right side, inhaling, we step. Land the heel and we rise. Warrior one. Exhaling, we frame, push and we lower. Inhale into your upper dog, adjusting the feet, rolling those shoulders away from the ears. Tap the feet and exhale back into your downward dog. Left side inhaling, we step, land the heel and we rise, sink into the hips. Exhale, we frame, push and we lower. Inhale to your upper dog, and exhale to your downward dog. A few large breaths here. Gazing towards your knees, gazing towards your belly button even, or simply yes nods and no nods. Smooth rhythmic breath. When you're ready, gaze forward as you inhale, step through to the front. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, rising into your chair. 
and exhale back to standing. So when you're ready, coming into the last simple breath tool to help you to relax. So I want you to lay on your back and you're going to bend your knees. So if you suffer with lower back pain, this is lovely because by bending the knees, you just create a little groove in your lower back that takes the weight out of the lumbar. And to be honest, everything we're doing really is to relax the body. Now, yoga is to strengthen the body enough for you to be able to sit still comfortably, relaxed, free of aches and pains. And so the breathing and the relaxation piece is actually really key because that's the goal we're working towards by doing the physical strengthening stuff. So I want for you to bring your hand onto your tummy just to have a um, frame um, reference. So much of the breathing happens in our chest and we don't even realize it. And what we want is to come into the diaphragm and learn to breathe into the diaphragm. So we're just gonna go for five of these and this is something that you can do as long as you want or as short as you want, but many people struggle to breathe um, in this way because we never take time to do it. So even you know, putting in five minutes in your diary a day to just simply breathe is really powerful and really key. So bringing the hands to the tummy, I want for you to push and inflate your stomach away on the inhale and we're gonna do this to the count of four. And then we're gonna deflate the stomach. So we draw the navel back towards the spine really slowly, but elongate it to a count of six. And this is the part which helps you to activate the part of your brain that allows you to self-soothe, known as the parasympathetic nervous system or the vagus nerve. So, and if it feels a struggle, don't worry. Um, it will come with practice over time. So even close your eyes down if you want to, relax your shoulders away from your ears. So as you inhale, belly rises to the count of one, two, three, and four. Very slowly exhale out through the nose or the mouth. You choose nose if you can. Two, three, four, five, and six. Again, inhale, belly rises. One, two, three, four, and exhale, release, two, three, four, five, and six. Inhale, belly rises, two, three, four, exhale, belly falls, two, three, four, five, and six, last two. Inhale, belly rises, two, three, four, and exhale, belly falls, two, three, four, five, and six. Last one, inhale, belly rises, two, three, four, exhale, belly falls, two, three, four, five, and six. So release those hands out for a moment, relax the shoulders away from the ears. And as you lay, just let the words gently rest with you. One of the things in life is, is that many aspire for, I don't know anyone that doesn't to be honest, is to be of sound body and sound mind. And we can get very caught up in very busy work schedules and very busy routines and running family life and running all activities outside of the family life. And it is really important for our mind, our body and our souls to take time to rest and recover and recuperate. But most importantly, attune and connect. And these moments are really precious because when we stop and we sit still, we're able to see quite clearly what perhaps is preoccupying our mind, but also physically where there is an imbalance in our body and you initiate the healing process the moment that you sit still enough to see it. Which is why 
it's important we take time each day to be able to sit and tune in to how our body feels. It's really important we sit and tune in to how our body feels. So moments like this, when we sit and we breathe, we can identify if a shoulder hurts or if we have a stomach pain or if actually we're really tired and we need rest. If actually we've got a desire to go and speak to somebody, things like that will come very naturally and easy to us because we are able to receive information and we're able to sit and tune into our feelings. So I want for you to bring your knees into your chest, give yourself a big cuddle, and that's what we need, is we need our own love. We need our own love because when we're able to receive our own love and we're full, we're able to give lots of love to others. And there's nothing that the power of love can't heal. So give yourself that really big cuddle like you'd give to someone that you really cherish and adore. And when you're ready, very gently, rolling onto your side, left or right, doesn't matter, and begin to push as you lift your way up into seated. So I hope you found some joy in some of those things that I shared with you just now. If you have questions, I'd love to hear from you. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy the content that's being shared via social for you all. And really look forward to sharing with you more in the future. And also sharing all the exciting things that Full Life Thailand have coming up. We've got some beautiful collaborations, lots of things to look forward to. And lots of people that we can help over the next coming months. So thank you all for taking the time to, to watch this just now. And I hope that you have a wonderful week. Take care.